What up, Nick from Fisherman Source? You can do a little something on uh, early season fluke. So it's fun because you can fish light stuff. Real simple rigging. Uh, we're gonna kind of get into that right now. Fishing three eighths and quarter ounce jig heads. These are a couple of our favorite baits. Four inch swimming mullet and pink. Chartreuse or white's also good. Four inch pink grubs. Again, chartreuse white. The main killer, these three inch gulp shrimps. Last year they came out with this translucent series. This is the Scooby. Now there's always a lot more shrimp than people think. There's little ghost shrimp, mantis shrimp, southern white shrimp. I've been seeing them too. And the fluke have been spitting them up. It's not just grass shrimp that they eat. And uh, these baits here particularly entice weak fish with. A lot of times you catch them while you're fluke fishing. But if you're exclusively targeting fluke, Scooby seems to always work. Pretty standard, just like you'd rig anything on any jig head. Really like these TT lures. I think they're, they're headlock made by Z-Man. Really like the keeper. Nice sharp hook. But like always, just make sure you come in straight. Keep it straight as you come through. There you have it. 20 pound liter, maybe even 15. J Floro stuff. We use it for everything from fluking to tuna. It's, it's pretty inexpensive, pretty high quality. A little 50 pound TA clip. Simple uni knot. Cinch it down. That's all she wrote. Pretty simple stuff, very effective. Fluke are here and they're hungry. They're eating shrimp and crabs mostly. The small stuff's gonna work the best. It's fun to get out there with some light tackle, maximize on that new slot limit, put some fish in the cooler. Till next time, we'll see you. Keep them tight.